Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Predator World Championships. This is a, a match from the girls' division. We have Hong Xin Yu and Bethany Tate. Hong is from uh, Chinese Taipei, and Bethany's from the U.S. I'm here with my partner, Tim DeRider. This is Eric Corlifson. How are you doing today, Tim? Good, good, yeah. I'm, uh, interest I'm very interested in this match, as... Uh, Zin is our defending champion from last year, and the funny thing, we just looked at the article she mentioned in her years, uh, in her article, she said, well, you know, I'm very happy to have won, but uh, I'm gonna come back next year and win it again, I'm gonna defend my title, so it's, this is her first match, I'm curious to see if she can live up to it. Yeah, obviously one of the favorites in the field. And uh, on the other side, Bethany Tate uh, won a bronze medal last year here, uh, no, not, no, two years ago, I think. Okay, so she has a lot of experience. At then. least she has won a medal. I don't, I don't remember what year, but she's won a medal. She has been playing the WPBA events lately, so I feel she's been trying to raise her game a little bit, so she's ready to maybe get the title this year. Yeah, the, the Tate family has three siblings in the junior event. Joey's playing in the boys under 19, and Noel is also in the girls event. Yeah. 24 girls started this tournament. Hung was seated into the second round. Bethany won her first round. It's a race to six. Alternate breaks. Yeah, we are playing 10 ball, WPA rules. So no 10 balls on the break or early combinations to win the game. Player continues shooting if they pocket the 10, but it's not a win. Decent break here. Didn't get a shot on the one. Jump looks a little too tough. Gonna have to be pushing somewhere. Could get aggressive and go for the jump, but I'd say it's on the lower percentage side. One's pretty far from the pocket. Yeah, and also I think for Bethany, the trick would be is not to have her opponent get a stroke. Sure. So maybe in the beginning, take it take it easy a little bit until you feel like, hey, I start to Slow hit the ball pretty good. You don't want your opponent's first look to be like a straight in one. Yeah. So push out here, expect Hong to play this though, either the one to the short rail and get the cue ball down behind traffic or maybe stick the cue ball behind the nine, but I'm not sure if she's gonna get that one ball out of there. Yeah, the aggressive shot is behind the nine. The higher percentage shot is to come down table and try to hide behind the bigger wall. Which she could try to bank behind. it also, two way. And then does hide the cue ball. Smart I shot. I do like how she's played this. Got position on the two as well if she made it. Gonna have to either kick past the, f the three or the five, can't quite tell there, with draw or before it with right spin. Yeah, she will need to alter the path here. I feel the three is right where she would want to be kicking. Well, she did play with tough spin and a soft speed, and especially with the new cloth. It's always gonna open up that much. Yeah, typically you wanna hit that kick with a little more speed to hold the angle and even more important on new cloth. Also, I feel she did kick this little soft. If she had hit the one, she was only gonna push it a little bit open, so no safety chances in this speed. Yeah, you have to guard against it. If you don't make it, where's the one, where can the one go? Good shot from the one and the two. Got a nice angle to come over for the three. I think she will have to draw in between the four and the six, though. Not sure if she can still play top spin around the ten. I Unless she's gonna juice the cue ball up with right spin. I think it's there, just a bit of right. Favor the follow here. Doesn't want to get straight though. Just because you will have to stay along the rail all the time and that's a pretty uncomfortable spot in general. Maybe she can cheat the pocket just soft and draw the cue ball off just, just a smidge. I think she's going to be stuck on the rail here, but position from the four to the six is reasonable. She played this nice, though. She got a little bit more queuing space with having the cue ball around the side pocket. Yeah. The six does go in the side, so just a oh, hair of draw or stop shot would already be okay. 
Always tough to elevate. So another chance for Tate in this rack. Every game is big. These are on, on the short side of race lengths here. In a tough position. She could go for the bank on the four and get the six to the side. But I think there's also a big sellout if you go for the bank and you don't make it. Yeah, I think the percentage play is to try the cue ball behind the seven. She called the nine. Ooh, that's very aggressive, tough shot. Well, I think she's also played it two, two ways. Way. Yeah. yeah. A little bit more conservative safety. Can swing the cue ball behind the 10 here. Six, eight, 10 stack, bunch of right spin. Actually, not even that much right. Plays pretty natural up that way. Hmm. It's called a four and a quarter. I just I think in case also it just goes over case, there. Yeah. Swerved the cue ball a little bit and caught it a little thinner than she wanted, but she's good unless she caught a unlucky window Don't there. I think there's a window. Yeah, it's pretty small space. Tate's gonna have a two rail kick option here. Most likely pocket would be the would be the side or the corner. She's called the corner. Yeah, I like two rails here. Can get it quite thick on the right side. Oh Watch out for the cue ball. Yeah, I caught it a little bit too thin. A quite thicker contact would have have pretty good chances though to get safe. Yeah, I had a chance to stick the cue ball. So, another chance for Xin Yu Hong. Just gonna follow up for the side here. Nice, safe play. We were reading in the article that she's coached or mentored by Che Yu Cho, one of the best women's players in the game. Yeah, she was there also last year when this lady here won her first world title, so Rita was in the in the stands actually. Uh huh. Well, it's great to have good mentorship like that. The girls will be playing double el elimination down to a final eight redraw single elimination. She's kind of a little strange on this eight ball though, was trying to get it to the side, or I believe she was trying to get it to the side. Now, yeah, I still am gonna try to cut it to the side, but it's thin and the scratch is also there. Yeah, gonna have to draw out of the scratch. Yeah, just barely beat the scratch there. Yeah, hit it a little thin, so didn't draw it as much as she wanted and ended up on the rail. I think it's just okay. Just the last time she was queuing jacked up from the side pocket, she's missed, so she might lose some accuracy here. You like going one rail to the left here? I think so. One or two. Just draw stun. Nice shot. Just like this. She hit yeah. this good, though. Yeah, she did. Can't hit any better than that. Little shots like that, even though they might look easy, you can tell the skill of a player by how they execute shots like that. Like, that's a tough shot there. So, first blood for Hung. Nice run out though at the end. The boys are in two divisions, under 17 and under 19. The girls are all playing together in one division. Yeah, also they get the chance to look at the pros, the sure. World 8-Ball Men Championships and World 10-Ball Women Championship are also played at the same venue, so I think this could only inspire more juniors here to hopefully ever get there. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. I think the times that I played in the World Junior Championships were on our own, from what I remember. Did you ever play? No, I never got to play World Junior. Did you start early enough? or? Uh, the moment I got to play in the European Championships, I was 17. Okay. So I had one medal, I, was fi I finished third. In you the had to under, win, in the under 19, and yeah, you have to win. So, and yeah, in my era, we had 
Joshua Filler almost uh, sure. beating anything and everybody. So, yeah, it was. Uh, but still, though, I mean, would have been cool to at least experience be there once it, to yeah. experience it. But it's all right. Pretty good break. Just got the one ball a hair too thin. Yeah, almost looked at two at the end. But she's playing that cut break on purpose. It's a it's a skill break there. Hit it how she wanted. One just came a little sharp. She might take note of that and still go with the cut break, but try to hit it a little thicker in the next rack. Tough opening shot though, queuing over the ten. Position is natural, but yeah, hampered queuing for sure. Hampered around three ball, two balls really. Oh, powered at it. And she didn't really hit it that bad like, no to, to play with that speed. She hit it great, but the speed got her. Yeah, I would probably try to play it soft, though. Yeah, because the pocket like, plays that big. Yeah, shots like that. It's recommended to hit it a little softer, especially elevated. It's the three past the five. If not, there's going to be a carom option, but the carom option... It's going to be tough to control the three properly. I think it does go. I'm more worried about it. I think so. Yeah, she's called her extension. Oh, well, maybe she Why didn't. Not? Going to get called on a time foul here. Maybe the clock just malfunctioned. No, the, the bigger thing I'm worried about is the six ball at this point. Just a little odd to get on the six. Yeah, you can see from that camera angle, the three does pass. So, so it should be okay there. Yeah, float yeah. the three in one rail, shoot the four in the top left corner. And then I'm guessing she is gonna try and drag the cue ball along the right long rail for the six. I think so, try to finish up real close to the nine. Never going to be able to really get perfect on the six, but compared to the other options, I think that's the best one. She's got the angle to come up the rail if she sees that track. Very loose grip on the cue. Had a couple visuals of that. Who decided to go into one of the balls. Interesting play. I feel like how the cue ball ended up, she must have tried that. Yeah, just a little short though. Maybe if it came up a little bit, she could have had the cut. I think she was playing that. Smart shot. Cue ball's gonna have a lot of energy here. Made it. Kilo's loose up table though. Oh, caught the point. Very thin cut to make the combo, and the combo's not a game winner. So she has to consider that as well. Looks like she's gonna she's thinking about going for it. There is a cross up the middle safe with the seven. Again here, I'd be worried about the cue ball going too far up table because of how thinly you have I to get the seven. I think I would roll up, though. Roll up on the There's fan. a roll up, too, yeah. I mean, I didn't like the combo that much because she was always going to leave the seven in the open if she doesn't make it. It's always going to guarantee your opponent to give an angle to get back to the eight where it is going to end. And even more, the seven ended up it happened to end up, the 10 would have spotted in front of it if she would have made it. I mean, she couldn't legislate for the 7 ending up exactly there, but it was a small element to it. It's not a gimme, though. Needs a big shot. I like going for the top right corner. Is this safe playing the 7 over by the 9 as well? Just 
wonder why she chose to play to the left. Yeah, because okay. two rails, you were gonna go run to the nine. I did like it the other way around, to the, to the right side and stay away from clustering. Always try to avoid traffic when you can, for sure. Well, and also, if you, yeah, sometimes you play it too much, but if you miss, try to miss, overcut the ball. Mm -hmm. Here's a big stroke shot from Han. Nice hit. Good shot, quality yeah. shot there. May that look easy though, she played a real soft draw. Yeah. Yeah, didn't over hit it, just finessed the ball. Recognizing that the new cloth grabs more, don't really have to power at that ball. See how loose her grip is there, Tim? A lot of top players play with a really loose grip. Just lets you flow through the cue ball more. Promotes good follow through through the stroke. She starts really loose and then grips up a little bit more at the end. Yeah, a couple good shots and Hong about to take a 2 0 lead. Don't feel Bethany to get much time also to adjust or to get some feeling going so far. Like she. Maybe played a couple safeties and yeah, went tough for the shots. seven ball. Yeah. Never, never really had a like a strong opener yet. It's alternate break, so she'll be getting her chances. The U.S. has five players in the, five players in the tournament this year. Two of the Tate sisters, Savannah Easton, Sophia Mast, and Kennedy Maiman. Yeah, let us see what the scores are on the other tables. We have quite some juniors going on at the moment. Let's see. Sophia Mast currently winning 3 0 with Isabella Junska from Poland. Savannah Easton winning 3 0 with. Octavia Brodeczka. Former winner, Lena Primus, who struggled in the first round with Noel Tate. It's now up 3-1 with Shirin Valeri from Switzerland. Decent square hit there. Gave herself a chance to make a ball. Nothing down, though. See a bit of frustration setting in. <coughs> Yeah, also the one ball did get kissed away. It looked like it was going to go to the side. Yeah, I was tracking solidly towards the side, just got kissed out on the way. Now, usually when I see this happen once or twice, I'm going to try and move the cue ball around a bit because it's just the timing of the rack where, yeah, that one, the four railer just keeps bumping it away. Yeah. You still want to, you, you don't want to take the chance away. Sure. It's all about adjusting, especially with hand rack. Yeah. Yeah, I think you need to watch a little cl more closely to what's happening at the table on the break when you play hand rack. Even with template racks, for whatever reason, you know, the, the balls, say you're playing 10 ball, the balls behind the one could be going a little high in the pocket. Well, maybe take it a little wider, you know, stuff like that. It's all about adjustment. A lot of times speed will affect that as well, too. She's in pretty good line here. Gonna have a bit of work from the four to the five. Four is relatively open though, available to a lot of pockets. Might even shoot it in the long pocket. I think you just take the four to the long pocket here and stun over to the right. Yeah, I think so too. That way you can at least stay in the open space. If you have to go to the short sides, you might get a wrong angle. It's yeah, not it's, sorry, Tim. It's just avoiding that seven. Like if you come above it, yeah. this, the seven's a big ball. Well, she's got a good angle here. It's perfect. Just got to make sure, again, she doesn't want to be ending up straight on the five. Just because of where the six is, that nine comes into play. 
Yeah. If she can get a small angle, she should be okay getting to the center of the table. I'd play this all the way over to the side rail. Yeah, she's a solid player. Gonna have some competition this year. Yeah, quite some girls that could be really in it to win it. Mm -hmm. So center of the table here, stun left. Ooh, I, li I like just not moving the cue ball a little less. I mean, that could have been I mean, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, you could go to the short side. It's just that getting to the center of the table would be so much easier, and the shot doesn't really get more difficult from there. Yeah, she needed an angle to come back to the seven anyways, right? So look for spots where you can move the cue ball less. I understand she wanted to get better on it, but there was a risk of getting like too straight if you came to the short side as well. Yeah, sometimes you take the medicine. Yeah. yeah. I think you can still go for the cut, though. Yeah, she's with, still with how open the seven is. Yeah, she's gonna stay offensive here. Could be three rails back, all the way back to the short rail. Nice try, nice shot. I thought she overcut it. Great shot. Four rails right into position. Great shot. Yeah, some good killing so far. Some big shots. Yeah, she knows the game. Just sometimes I think technique. She looks a little jumpy sometimes, mm -hmm. moving a bit. But Let's she's still it. young too. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a difficult shot though. She's going to need the bridge. I feel like it's too far even for extension. She's going for extension, but it's a long one. She might be able to get there. I think she's got to draw the ball and she's on a real long bridge here. It's a very long extension. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's so tough to draw the ball when you're reaching that far. It's, of course, it's tough to draw the ball with the bridge as well, but... I feel she also got a little beat there by the shot clock. Like yeah. It kind of pushed her to where she didn't really get time to prepare herself nicely. She just had to go. Good thing, though, she's automatic on the 10 if she makes this. I think she'll power up and go four rails. I wouldn't do it. I like the speed. Nice shot. Oh, nice shot. What an out there. Putting Tate in a tough spot here. Going to have to come back with some responses. Nice rack. Yeah, 3-0. And things are not looking not too great for Bethany Tate. Coming up at 7 o'clock local time tonight, we're going to have the first round of the men's Final 32 redraw. Lots of big matches there. We have one round of men's matches. Yeah. Last 32 to advance to the last 16. And then on the side, we have the women's, of course. Now I think we got to the loser qualification rounds for the last 16. Yes. So we are slowly getting to the business end of the tournaments, and this is where the money is being picked up. Shouting Pan had a close call in her last match against Kawahara from Japan. Two, two of the favorites in the women's division facing off early. Pan ended up winning 7-6. Che Yu Cho is also on the loser side for the women. Shane Van Boning lost his first match in the in the men's eight ball and came all the way back and qualified for the th final 32. Yeah, and also I think he's found a break. So yeah, I haven't he's going to be very interested to see him uh, progress. He did one of his matches last night, except except the one that he whiffed on, right? When he when he missed the cue <laughs> yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he was breaking good that match, just that one. Was, I'm just uh, joking. <laughs> yeah. you guys, some of you guys might maybe seen the clip on social media. Yeah, I did catch this one ball thinner now this time. And also the more left spin she starts playing on this one, the more it's gonna be low. So she might wanna watch how much spin she uses on this break. Yeah, the one's going short of the side pocket, so she wants to get more into like a stun, 
can't really follow it, but angled fo angled follow or a stun type hit. Yeah, just wondering, does the five go? Yes. She'll have to play safe here anyways, but it really determines the rack, how everything will progress. Uh-huh. It's a good shot there. One came out a little too far, but good idea with the cue ball. Could have played it softer, though, just to focus on getting the one behind the 410. Yeah. Yeah, there was a shot, too, where he drew it and hit it thinner and track the cue ball wide of the three. I have a feeling the five goes, but have to get a camera angle on it. The well, four? The four yeah, yeah, I was going to say, the four doesn't go either. Yeah. She was just taking a look at the angle of the four. Could barely be enough room there. She doesn't seem too worried or... So I, I feel like it might pass the 10. Overdrew this one. Yeah, it won't be able to get on the four with this angle. Could play like a delayed draw with a bunch of right spin into the short rail. But yeah, it'll be hard to get back over to the right side of the tail. Okay, she's done with the left yeah. and short rail long and try to yeah, just end up right in between the four and the seven. I saw that shot too, yeah. So speed sensitive though, sh she won't be able to play three rails on this table. Well, there's three rails forward too. Well, she outthought us there, Tim. Yeah, I don't think the four went. I think it does, because she doesn't seem worried. It, from the camera angle, it looks like it doesn't, but the way she's looked down there, there she twice. And, and she played this position, so. Yeah. Oh, it's tight, but it goes. Uh, yeah, it goes. And also a good angle to get on the five, guaranteed. Play three rails. Next oh, she seven. Di she dipped it a little bit too, though. Like it was not a solid follow through with just stop spin. Could try the cue ball behind the seven here. I feel like it's gonna trend a little tight, but it might open up on the new cloth. I think you could be able to play that, yeah. Pretty. Also, if you play it that way, the five is gonna go off the nine, back to the short rail. She could be playing the same thing here, but I just think you can lock up really nice with the seven. She's trying the cue ball behind the six. I didn't like this so yeah. much. It's just that the five ball was just okay. Mm -hmm. She's played good speed to get the five to the long rail. Just so sensitive with the cue ball. I think Tate has to go here. It's. I mean, it looks. It might be a little thinner than it looks on camera, but still, if you catch a take and you play a good speed, like just a smooth, medium, soft speed, you can still hit the rail on the way in. Yeah. yeah. much speed tough shots really Tate's just kind of in spots where she's had to make something happen and just hasn't quite made it happen yet so now she might be looking to get the heel behind the seven she's always gonna cut the, cut the one to the short rail could just cinch it to the right as well try to get the eight in between them yeah I was yeah that's true just soft maybe less risk though if you play that She's, that way. she's done a good job though I mean I didn't like the shot because the five was going to be in the open and most likely a jump the thought that she wants to get to or the thought that all players should get to and the, it should be thinking like is that they should be confident enough that they can get the cue ball behind the seven I don't know say a decent percentage of the time call it 50 right behind the seven and if you do that's a game winner right like the way she played this She's a favorite in the rack, but it's not necessarily a game winner, right? No, because also you're every time you leave that jump, you just give your opponent the chance to half chance. hit the ball and maybe make it or return or the safe. safe. Yeah, there's there's a lot of safes where you know the execution might be 10 to 20 percent harder, but the reward is high enough that you have to go for it. Oh, 
It's a rail. No, no, no rail. Had some spin on that jump, so it deflected the cue ball wider. Got a little straight here. Still be able to power draw to the angle, but she wanted it more natural. She could play it to the side rail. Yeah, just past the side is okay though, but it's not a comfortable start to. She's gonna stun it actually. She feels like she has enough angle to stun it. That's a good shot. Wow, she really powered that. <laughs> Nice shot and just okay. I think she's on the seven here. Yep. Two rail drawback. Try to get straight on the eight. Nice hit there. Notice how all these strong players, they use rails to slow the cue ball down. Like that, that play would never be one rail back. You know, you always hit the second rail and slow the speed of the cue ball down to where you're trying to finish it. Even this one here will be a two rail play. Bit of right spin, float the cue ball at five feet, hit a rail, and then have it travel another foot towards the 10 ball. Shot. Played it nice, just a little close to the scratch, but yeah, played a good shot. A little more spin, she'll take that scratch completely out of play there. Yeah, big 4-0 here. Yeah, well, she'll be, you can tell by this performance so far that she'll be a force to reckon with. Okay, so guys, go ahead. We'll go for a short little break, and we'll be right back for you. the better player will still win. It's Temple to win the title. He is your champion. You will be champion. champions. Welcome back to the World Junior Championships here. Sponsored and presented by Predator Qs. Together with the WPA. Currently waiting for Bethany Tate to come back from her timeout. And I think it would be smart at this point to take a timeout to slow Hong down because she's been playing good. Bethany barely just gets any chance, only tough shots, jumping, kicking. Never really can get going. Yeah, Hong's run, run out from the one at least three of the games. Now, Bethany's made, missed some tough balls. 
but not like, uh, you know, Hung's creating things. She's looking good. Tate's a capable player for sure, too. Yeah, it's just I feel Hong has been moving pretty good, too. Like, she's actually been playing pretty mature. Mm -hmm. So, like most of the safety shots and the choices she makes, she's really, yeah, really been in control of the match so far. Playing like the defending champion. The referee Jintaras Petrovas from Lithuania, EPBF referee. So you were talking about Shane getting the break going in the in the men's eight ball event. What what did he end up going with from the side rail and just hitting the head ball square? Or? Yeah, he just started to hit it square. From the side rail. We yeah, we just felt like he was off a little bit, left, right all the time. And then he started finding that square hit. He was making many two balls on the break. Like mm -hmm. just almost any break, maybe one dry break. So. Okay. Hong's going to be in her first pushing position of the match. Going to push for distance here. A lot of blockers in the middle of the table. Probably to the bottom rail here. Maybe first diamond, half a diamond on the right side of the short rail. Yeah, not much else you can do. I mean, there's a lot of blockers in the middle. You, but you know what shot is going to come after, but yeah. you kind of just need to buy some time in this position. into a kicking position. I wonder if she was trying that. She kind of like went over to that area. Maybe she couldn't just reach it because she's not too tall and it was frozen with the eight. So maybe she was trying to use the rail just so she wouldn't have to elevate and maybe miss you. Mm. Yeah, Bethany gave it back. I, I understand why the kicking this is tough. There's actually a window through it. Oh, there's it. a window, yeah. okay. She clipped the one ball nice and then a fortunate roll off the three. Caught a roll there. I think this has to be a two rail kick here. She could go out at one rail. The one rail, rail is more aggressive, but percentage wise, that'd be going at this two rail. I mean, then again, I don't mind her going one rail as long as she puts some speed on it. Like, we really need to get some distance she, on this. She had the thing about two rails is you'll never have a shot on the two as well. Uh, ball straightened up because of the speed. Got down to the end of the shot clock there too. Yeah, maybe the clock got her there a little bit. She still had her extension though. That'll be something. That'll be a skill that all these juniors will develop going forward. Playing under shot clocks, probably not used to it. Playing at the local level. Well, and especially starting to learn this on such a young age. I cannot imagine when they are finally 20, 22. Right. How used they're to it. Yeah. Makes me scared. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll be an advantage for them going forward. You can choose to draw out, you can choose to cinch the cue ball one rail, or you can come up two rails and possibly get closer to the four. I think I like the draw out just straight to the center of the table. It will not be the ideal angle to get position later on the five, but going forward, I feel if you stay on the rail, it could be annoying. Like now Which you'll have to go happened. jacked up and yeah. get so sensitive. Might just cinch this one. It's not a, I guess if she elevates and draws it to the left of the nine, that would be a nice shot too. Yeah, she's aggressive. She's not afraid to go after it. Nice shot. Hit it good. Now to the 
short side of the six, seven balls next to it. Good natural position here, just play the six in the long pocket. I don't think the seven ball goes to the bottom left, so that's why I would draw back a little bit for the seven inside. I think it does. Oh, you think it does go? Yeah. Oh, well, in that case, I just turn off the rail. Mm. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I'll learn my lesson one day. She actually got perfect on the seven. I know. It's a good, good shot. Because still, like, it, she made yeah. it look easy, but... Just wondering if, yeah, you know, if she draws too far or too short, then the seven is way tougher. So sure. if it does go to the corner, you take the corner. If it doesn't go, then you really need to play a good positional shot. But she's been doing all that so far. Like Staying in line well, yeah. Don't see her really messing up here. Three balls in front of the corner. She's straight on this. There's a, there's a couple spots where she had to elevate, but overall staying on the right side of the ball, good cue ball control. Really impressed so far by her game. Me, yeah, me Great too. match. Also, it's her first match of the tournament. Mm -hmm. So usually they start to, you know, still figure out the tables and get some, uh, get some stroke going, you know, get some feeling. Oh, she doesn't really look like she needs more of that. Assuming there aren't many predator tables yet in uh, Taiwan or in Chinese Taipei, but I'm sure one day there will be. Just. Showing that she's able to adapt to different conditions. Yeah. I think I saw a few rooms in Th in Thailand that have predator tables now. Yeah, Start, slow, they're slowly, starting yeah. to they pick up on it in Asia. M many pool rooms in the world actually are starting to change around. So. Mm -hmm. Well, in the beginning, everybody got a little insecure because they're not used to the tables. Now they can get some some play in at their local club and they get to the tournament and they look a lot more solid. So then again, every brand, every table plays a little different. Like we just played in, in Vietnam in a pool room. It was a great pool room, looked amazing, but they had different brand tables like Lilacs and, and Perry tables and we never played on those. Yeah. And then you kind of, you feel like you're still figuring out every day what's going on. Sure. And then if you play on them more often, then you should be fine. Right. Well, at least so far, I haven't heard any people complain about the tables here. So. Oh, they're playing great. It's just the familiarity, which will come. So let's see if she's going to get the one ball a little higher. Wants a little thicker contact or more speed, either way. Yeah, always getting the one going sharp. Put a little draw on the cue ball, too. That's how it came all the way up table and the one is going to get lower and then an unfortunate bump for the cue ball but it's really Tate's first open look in the f in the first five racks I would say she's had looks yeah but I mean she, we've been playing 45 minutes and she this is the first easy shot she actually has this match Good shot there. Four didn't end up exactly where she wanted. Well, it did open up the rack a lot more, though. Yeah, so the four play a good two ball here. Four was kind of in a weird spot there, so I didn't mind moving it. Yeah, just out of stroke. Yeah, also this was sensitive, like if she had played more draw, she would be behind the four. If she let it just center ball, it would get up behind the eight. Yeah, kind of had to put like a half stroke on a it. Half a stroke, and then she's been sitting for 40 minutes basically, so. It's a tough spot. 
I mean, of course, it's not, it's not an excuse. She, yeah. If she ever rewatches this match, she will have to practice that tip, uh, that typical stroke there. But just tough sometimes. Oh, need some cover here. Don't think she's got it. Might have got the edge. If she's got the edge, it's gonna be not so much elevation jump though. Like it's it's one you would expect players to make. Maybe even to the point where you can swerve it because the right spin helps travel the cue ball towards the three anyway. She, I think she's called a two off the five, but it would be really tough to get to the three. Oh, sure. wow. Oh, and she's five tied up the up five. Bad, of it course. Tough to get on the four. Well, it's safety time here. I think I'm banking the three ball back up table and bring the cue ball two rails. You see, she if she had hitting it thicker, the two wouldn't go, so she really actually had to play a precise carom of the five. You could draw into the ten here. Nice shot there. Came out decently back on the four. Actually, she's got an angle at least to do something. She could play short side of the five or open them up. Just felt a little aggressive to me. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the scoreline dictates how you play, right? It's like she's a, she's in a spot. Oh, needs a lot of weird set of roles she's had in this match. I mean, she opened it up good, maybe just a little wild. Like she likes to force balls in. I can see that. Like she likes to play full stroke, mm -hmm. which caused the cue ball here to have find a, something. Have a little more chance to get loose. Yeah. Yes. Must be tough. I mean, of course, all the junior players that are here, they are not so experienced, but they all know they're playing the World Championship, so they're all so excited to hopefully ever, like, make their dream come true, and then you have a match like this first round. Yeah. And the strength of the opponent is part of it, too. Yeah, you know? of course. She's yeah, going to yeah. have more chances going forward, so she just needs to regroup and try to get, get in a spot where she can play her game. It's still interesting though, I don't think she's gonna be done here because she's left herself quite straight on the six, the seven doesn't go on the bottom left and we'll have to get to the bottom side of the seven. I don't think it's easy to go three rails forward, you have to really pound that ball. Yeah, and she's using using the bridge too, see if she can get enough power out of it. Gotta I would maybe play for a bank. It's possible. Hit it well, but still probably didn't get there. Wondering, is she going to go all in on the cut? She's guaranteed to be on the she eight. She's going the all in on the cut. Look at her. Oh, no. No, she's called a bank. Did she? Yeah. yeah. There's a pretty big pocket on the cut, though, but it's, it's a thin one. Playing a very high ball on this. Have to hit it quite thick. Oh, she did call the cut. I had a feeling, yeah. Not a horrible hit, to be honest. Oh, just barely missed it. It was a really tough one, though. Yeah, it's very important for Bethany Tate to get something going here. Sure. And if you know, put one game on the board, start the comeback, never know. I was going to say, needs it to go a little bit or it needs to be shorter. Yeah, I got straight here. Going to have to use a bridge or an extension. I don't know, the cue ball's <coughs> too far out in the middle to reach around the side of the rail. She could try to go forward two rails. There's that. It's as a possible well. three. Yeah. I think that's the play, actually. Again, easy to under hit this, especially with a bridge. I'm just going to draw. I think if I play draw, I'm always going to make sure, you know, I'd rather, stay, I'd rather go way too high than too short. Yeah. I'm just going to guarantee myself something. Nice shot. Hit about as well as she could.
Good for her to get a game on the board here. Still, it's it's a far comeback though. Usually with winter break, it's kind of all right. Like you could still make something happen playing alternate break we will have to see some mistakes from Hong or at least that's how I feel if I look at the overall match we will have to see some yeah big mistakes any, anytime she makes a ball in the break she's she's gonna have the option to possibly put Tate in a bad spot What do we have coming up at th uh, in the next round, Tim? Is it a is it a junior match? You know offhand, or well, let me find out for you. Looks like I do remember it was. I think it was the ladies, the women's. But let me figure that out for you all. Lots of movement on the break. Crossed it over though, so didn't really have a chance to make the one in the side. Push out. Two ball got in between the cue ball and the one. Just gonna push up table here. Leave the right side of the one. <clears throat> See if Tate wants to take some kind of safe off of that. I see there are some matches, some under 19 matches at 3.30. Just trying to figure out which one we will have on the one of the two TV tables. Yeah. Maybe they haven't picked yet too. Uh, I th yeah, I think, the, the I think the women's qualification matches are later on today. Maybe some juniors this afternoon. Yeah, it looked like those are 6 p.m. Okay. Oh no, there is here. Yeah, there is a winner's qualification for the, for the women's. Okay. So on table one, we'll have Christina Tekac and Kelly Fisher. Okay. Table two, we'll have Pia Filler and Chen Ming. Be Chen Ming's first match on the TV table, I think. In the last six years. No kidding. She's a great player for anybody that have, hasn't seen her play on stream before. Yeah, I would recommend to watch that. Yeah. I like to watch Chen Ming play. Yeah. Textbook fundamentals. Proven winner over the years. I feel like she was playing some Chinese eight ball, and I feel like she had issues traveling. Well, and I also heard that she was playing some three cushion. Really? So, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, most of it is all rumors. So you, you know how it goes. Yeah. But, uh, Table's table looking eight. okay here for Hong. Huh? Might have to play a 5 9 combo. Nine's yeah, pretty close to the pocket. They're reasonably lined up, so I feel like she Jeremy will. Cole as long as you get close to the four. 5 ball, sure. like if it's not a long distance or a big cut, so you should be able to make the 9. Down to the end of the shot clock there. Still played a good shot. Good angle on the two, natural. Just, well, not a Draw shot, natural, it's a yeah. small stun. Yeah. Some crossing over from the three for the four on the side. Also, what I like a lot about what she's doing, she looks very mature using the shot clock because she has 30 seconds and she knows like that shot was a hanger. So she took 25 seconds trying to figure out more about the rack and then still the five seconds to shoot the shot. I saw that. She's thinking ahead of what she has to do throughout the whole rack. And now that she has a plan, you probably won't see her get down to the end of the shot clock for the rest of the rack unless she gets in a funny spot. 
yeah, it's just that little extra time that you don't really get to take after the break or during the rack. So she's the first couple shots. She's basically already looking at okay, if I get nice on this combo, six, seven, eight, nine is all right. So because she knew her execution on the two should be a hundred percent anyway. Yeah. So she can shoot it quickly, right? So it's a very good comment there about Did, clock management. Didn't get easy though on this combo. Like it's still quite a cut, and I feel she might have to just soft stun. Could lose the five a bit. Didn't get it. Combos are always underrated. Tough. I think she. It was the proper play though to go f like go ahead and try to get in a spot where she was able to make it. I did like it. So another lifeline for Bethany Tate. Six ball corner. She's called a six ball in the corner, so the five doesn't go. Got to kind of slow roll this one. A good shot to making the six is just he's lost the cue ball. Maybe just a so softer stun, lower in the cue ball. Little just to not make the cue ball move, but. A little thicker hit on the six. A couple things could have happened there. I feel like she might still go. You know, shooter, the, the shooter will know how thin this one really is, but. Playing safe. Cue ball behind the nine. Yeah, just call the eight ball. In this That's a good just shot. Just in case. And that's a great shot. Yeah, she hit that good. Ten balls kind of blocking the two rail track towards the five off the left side rail. Gonna go for a long jump here. He's got the predator air rush. Jump cue. This has to be hit with a lot of speed to get over the eight. Better be jumping with a predator if you're gonna try this shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually not kidding though. On, the, on shots like this, this, this is the, these are the shots where the cue where the cue actually makes a difference. Tough shot. Well, you know, from 5 0, if you can get 5 2, 5 3 on the board, then actually your opponent starts sweating it a little bit. So. Yeah, she's starting with a straight in chance here. And yeah. Can make her a big favorite to run it out, so all of a sudden she's on two. One thing you can never do in pool is give up. You always got to give yourself. You got to fight till the end. I think I like being along the long rail, though. You can go four rails around, or even you can play with inside, just to have inside crossover. So many different lines. Natural towards the right side rail works as well. Just one needs some left spin though, otherwise she's gonna get close to the side. Yeah. The tricky way about playing it two rails is that if you get higher, let's say second diamond, you have a tough cut on the ten. Yeah. And if you try to get lower, now you scratch. So yeah, I like sorry Tim, I like trying to check it a little bit to come past the side. Yeah. Five two. Tate, Tate's keeping herself in the match here. Pia Filler, Chen Simi, this person to table two. How are the other junior matches doing? Some of them Let's are probably over by now. Um, let me see. Well, we have five records going on, so I have to <laughs> yeah, move around all the time. Let me see at the girls. Sophia must one six zero. 
Mina Tani uh, from you, Japan, 160. Savannah Eastern, 161. Jolien Schuurman from the Netherlands, she's three each with Song Nakyung. Lena Primus, our, I think it was 2021 World Junior Champion, she won 6 1. So the favorites coming out strong, looks like. Yeah, not too many surprises. Slow roll the two here. Take more of an angle on the three. Could power up and go all the way to the rail and try to get closer to it, but. I like this. Yeah, it's a the only thing advised. Though, you know that you have to play the three in well, a softer stroke. Like, you can't really let your stroke go out, so. But you have a big area to be on the four, though, so. Yeah. Just got to focus on the pocketing here. Just trying to play with right spin and swerve the cue ball a little bit. There was two shots there. You could drag it a little more or spin it a little more. Should yeah, or you, pl or you really load up the cue ball with max spin so you can really let the rails grab it and make the angle. She kind of did, and the cue ball swerved wide, right? Uh, so I think that's yeah. what got her there. Five passes to six. We saw that earlier in the rack. Yeah, it would still be nice to get close to the five, though. Yeah. I don't think she's got the full pocket, so the closer you get, the more accurate you can be on a shot like that. See, now she got Pretty kind far of far, and not easy to be on the six, so. Yeah, cue ball's gonna have too much energy where the eight's gonna start getting in the way. Could try to soft draw it over towards the seven, but that's very tricky. Might actually hit the eight on the way through to that shot as well. Can she kill the cue ball still? She tried to go into the seven. This worked out. Yeah, she still has a cut on the six. So she could decide to play the bump on the eight. Yeah, I think you have to run into the eight here. Cue ball's going to have too much energy, but the eight's pretty close to the short rail there, so it's achievable. wrong side of it it's gonna work out again not this time yeah I caught the six a little thin if she yeah. had hit a little thicker it was gonna be a good bump gonna go one rail offense here try to kick it in oh, what a shot wow. stick to stay in the match Straight in the hole. Still not in great line. There is four rails back. Defensive play would be trying to get in the, the nine in between the cue ball and the eight. Very tough to slow roll that ball. It's always tempting to slow roll that ball, and I'm not saying that it can't work out playing it that way, but you got to be so secure, though, on, the, on your stroke. If you play just a hair of right spin, it's going to turn into the ball a little bit more. Yeah. It's just so ge general play on that one is to ramp up on the speed and go all the way around the table and back. Also, I think you're more lucky if you play it four rails and you seem to miss the ball. Sure. I think you're also you're not going to hang it. You're yeah. not going to leave it in front of the pocket as you just did. Of course, you shouldn't be always thinking about where, how do I miss the shot, but right. those are things that actually can save you. Ooh, caught the wrong spin. It's cute, it kind of funny, probably. 
She, she would know not to play that spin, just cute it a little oddly. This is to get to the next round though. Hong, tough shot, glued to the rail. Got it. So, Xin Yu Hong beats Bethany Tate, 6-2 and advances to the next round. Bethany will have to go through the loser bracket to get herself back to the last eight players. So this was Eric Gerlifsen and myself, Tim De Reuter. Thank you so much for being with us and our next match is going to be in 20 minutes. So make sure you tune in. Okay guys, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.